is the statement. You can have the most fantastic dress. Um, without a hat, you're a, you're a good looking person in a great dress. With a hat, they're gonna really forget the dress. They're gonna just remember you as the statement and they will always remember the hat. So we're picking the same color, picking a very wow hat. Fascinators are out and this is not a fascinator. This is a small pillbox with a lot of vertical, a lot of going on. Let's have a look. Nice hat, lots going on. It's within the proximity of the shoulders, so when you're drinking, you're not gonna be getting annoyed by it. I'm just a bit worried that the, it's all the same colors. Probably on a black dress, it's a great hat, but I think just with this dress, it's too much of all the same color. This is nothing to do with the outfit at all to bring the colour in to the story, to the ensemble, you would use an, uh, the, the pale grey nude flesh colours in your shoe, in your bag, in your jewellery, simple platinum or silver bangle. When you go and pick a hat, if you want to take somebody for advice, which is good, take somebody you dearly love and trust, not somebody you hold in high regard, because they might not give you the best advice. Because at the end of the day, you're the person wearing it. And it doesn't matter what any milliner says, any husband who's not that interested or is, or is interested, you're the one who's wearing it, not what your best friend says. If you like it, that's the hat for you. If you don't like it, it doesn't matter what people say, don't take it. Because if you don't like it, your attitude towards it will be wrong. Now you've got a simple foundation that's really good with the body, really well cut, but you can make the drama, much more of the drama, with the hat. This is quite classical, very English rose. And again, I'm putting it at the angle in symmetry with the eye shape. If I turned it straight, it's, look, it's looking quite Audrey Hepburn, which is it's good with this theme, but I still think it's got more drama when it's worn in symmetry with the eye shape. And again, the accessories you can just pick up on probably the sort of the mushroomy shades here, just in the accessories. Keep it quite tame on the rest of it. Let the dress and the hat, again with the, your colouring, I just think that's quite elegant. Classical with the black dress. Make you slightly more contemporary, we then go for a vintage look. Again, on the angle. This is, that look is classic 50s and it's dead straight on. But I think it's more acceptable to emphasize the height on the slight, slight angle again. You've just changed decades. Um, quite serious, quite formidable. The other one's softer. This is sharper. The thing that a lot of people have um, been confused by in the last, say, 20 years is the thing that's called a fascinator. Um, that, the definition of a fascinator is a chicken's bum on a comb. And you'll have quite a few people out there calling themselves milliners who know how to use a tube of Yoohoo glue and glue some feathers on a comb. And they call themselves milliners and they'll confuse a cocktail hat with a fascinator, or they'll confuse a contemporary hat with a fascinator. Because it's small, they think it's therefore a fascinator. Fascinator being a chicken's bum on a comb. The allure of the veil, just sort of just, just there. But I love, I think that color is pure explosion. Keep the lips, now the color, again, no red, I would not do red shoes, it's gonna just detract. I wouldn't worry about a red handbag, I'll keep that black, keep that patent to go with the belt. I might do some nails, and I'd probably bring a tone in the lips. And that's it. And that is statement. And we do get a lot of ladies who are now having to confront the last final fear 
They've managed to go through life um, wearing the dresses, wearing the outfits that life and, and society have expected, but now they've actually got to wear a hat. The very thing that they don't look good in, but everybody else does. It's uh, quite a bold pattern in the dress, and I think something just keeping it something simple, but maintaining the vertical. If I make, if I get a hat that just is too leery, it's going to make the dress look not so subtle. Whereas I want to keep the, the line of the, of the body within the dress to make, I mean, it's fantastic, and just add some grace as well, emphasize the grace to it to keep a, to keep a good balance. Picking out the white of the pattern. Dramatic, nice and full. Maintain, again, just all the vertical lines. Is again, it's just sort of striking a better balance. So the, the, the figure hugging of the dress, the shortness of the dress, but it, it's just adding a balance. So you've still got all the look, but it's just given it, it's quietened the lads down. People, when they're self-conscious initially, they'll, they'll pick up something rather diminutive that will look bland, so they're, and they're not, they're not bland people normally, so they'll stick it on, and of course it looks naff, and they're going to see, hats don't suit me, they look naff. Whereas if they'd actually picked a style that matched their own personal theatre, that was probably a little bit edgy on the counter, if they put that on at the right angle and been in the right frame of mind and perhaps a little bit private as well, not on show, not all, everybody's going to look at me. No, when, no one's looking at you. In fact, if they are looking at you, it's because you look bloody good. Here, you're using a colour that will bring out the colour of the eyes rather than anything to do with the outfit. When it comes to day wear, normal casual day wear, you don't want it to make it look, you don't want it to look like it's working too hard. I had a woman come in with a tweed outfit and initially she wanted a tweed hat. Ugh, horror, horror. And um, there was a lot of greens in this outfit and I just popped a dark grey hat on and it toned with her eyes perfectly, which in turn sort of just blended with her outfit. So now she looked good it went with the outfit, but it didn't look as though she'd had it made with the outfit. And to me, that's all about looking smart or looking good, but also at the same time looking quite casual, as opposed to the whole thing, the whole ensemble working together. That's a day wear. If it's special occasion, you go more elaborate with day wear, something unique, something distinctive, but it's the shape and it's just the general color and it's the ease, and it just makes a difference. It's just a rock and roll colour. Something that's still bringing it down to the eyes. And now, again, the eye shape this side, it's got a beautiful swoop. And it emphasises the, 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 the jawline here, which in turn then emphasises sort of the neck and the bust and the rest of the length of the body. So I think it just extends. Once they are shown that they look, just as good as everybody else, and they look brilliant, they look the nuts, then you watch them grow. You, you see the shoulders go back and they, they're just different. And, um, and it's a fabulous thing. It's, that's one of the main reasons I do this, that buzz, that energy, that fulfillment, that satisfaction of, of seeing something that you've created give so much to somebody else. Bit of vintage. This style, it looks cute, but you'd need to theme your clothes with it. People who do like to dress in vintage at the moment, the retro styling, if they put a regular hat on, it would be out of place. Whereas if they then put a vintage theme with the vintage clothes, it finishes the job. And if they don't wear a hat, all their efforts in dressing up and in in, in researching all their, all their styling, it's wasted. Good little shape. One lady, she said, when I first arrived, I was feeling a little tired and uncertain. When I left, I was feeling 20 years younger. I mean, rock and roll. <laughs>